Okay, here we go. Kayak.com made up a story about a bully who was banned from kayak for life. Why does Frank Reardon spend hours searching dozens of travel sites instead of comparing hundreds of sites at once with Kayak.com? Someday, I'll create a technology that compares hundreds of travel sites at once, and you will never get to use it. Why? Because Frank Reardon is banned from Kayak for life. The fake Kayak bully was given the name of a real bully from the copywriter's past, a guy named Frank Reardon. The actor in the commercial was also made up to look like the profile pic on the real Frank Reardon's Facebook page. When people Googled the TV spot, they thought Frank and his story was real. Remember, it's not. Thousands of people started posting on Kayak's Facebook and Twitter pages asking for Frank's ban to be lifted. We quickly produced many pieces of content, including the real Frank's homemade videos pleading to get back on Kayak. I swear on my mom, I'm a better guy than Frank in that commercial. The videos were uploaded to Kayak's Facebook page one by one, each followed by video responses from company CMO Robert Burge, who answers with variations of no. I'm Robert Burge, I'm the Chief Marketing Officer at Kayak. We wanted to let you know that we've seen your video. No. The Real Frank also sent videos to blogs and media sites that had liked the original TV spot to garner support and PR. This worked. Hey Tosh, it's the Real Frank Reardon. Great job. I have a video for you. Kayak fans took sides, some supporting Frank, some praising Kayak for punishing a bully. The real Frank got mad and told the CMO to go screw, and Frank started his own travel search site called frankskayak.com. Since kayak.com is stupid and no one needs them anyways, I'd like to introduce you to a new brand, a more awesome website called frankskayak.com. Turning YouTube into a fully functioning interactive travel site. Hello, welcome to frankskayak.com. A better kayak than that stupid kayak.com. All right, where are you leaving from? New York, Boston, we also got Chi-Town, LA, Frisco. At frankskayak.com, you could make real flight searches, although Frank charged a lot for his services. $5,000. Kayak bought space on Frank's YouTube channel. When you searched flights on Frank's kayak, a kayak banner would show kayak's actual results. In the end, a fake story about a real bully led to a real petition and a fake plea denied by a real CMO creating a fake travel site that promoted a real one. The blurring of the lines between reality and marketing helped Kayak create a social conversation that spanned over 20 countries with a reach of over 1.2 million people in just three days. This kept the conversation going well after the original TV spot stopped airing. Thank you.